Hey everyone, Robert Renan here with another quick tip video on when posting multiple photos for a testimonial. I'm going to go ahead and start by grabbing a couple photos. Just going to just grab those real quick. And I'm going to let you know something, a little trick that you're going to want to do. Once you, I've already copied the text for the um, testimonial, basically. But this isn't a testimonial. I'm just doing a random post. But uh, I already have that there, and I pasted that in there. And my photos are showing up. And you'll see that I have, I'm posting two separate photos. And what's going to happen here is when I post that, people are going to see it. And if they click on this photo, they're not going to see it. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to go here to add description. Since I've already copied that testimony, I'm going to go ahead and place the same exact text in there and then done editing and then it's going to be the same exact thing that way just by chance somebody's reading this and they go oh yeah but okay let me look at this photo closer oh wait where's the link you know um this way they have that right there if they click on each of the photos if you put 10 photos in there of your weight loss journey and they're not in a collage you're going to want to uh, definitely do this little trick here that way, whenever they click on the individual photos, or some, what will happen is somebody will come over here and they'll comment on this one photo that didn't have anything, and it'll show up in the, their friend's news feed, and they see that in the testimony, and they go, oh, okay, but how do I get it? Because there's no, this is all blank. So if this is blank, you want to make sure there's at least your link in there to order, and then your link. Uh, but I just, I basically just copy that same testimony. Uh, sometimes I'll edit, like if this is an after photo, uh, I'll put it in there. And this. Yeah, something like that. And then I'm going to just cancel it. I might leave these on there. Uh, but that way, when you're posting like before and after, and you don't know how to, uh, go ahead and, and crop and put everything together, then you can do that. So hopefully this video helped you with that.